the movie begins as we see a really large kingdom called, Qing Yang, which has been a place of peace and prosperity, since they won their battles. The main character of this movie is called Meng Yuan, who was given the duty to clean and manage the swords and amours of the soldiers, but all Meng Yuan has ever wanted is to be a warrior. His master known as, Master Wang tells him that he's just an errand boy, and no matter the effort he makes, it will so impossible for him to become a warrior. During their conversation a trumpet has been sounded, alerting them that the city is being attacked by ruthless land monsters. This was so surprising, because it's been ages since when monsters attacked their city. Quickly, all the soldiers in the kingdom comes out, and formed into their defensive positions, so they can prevent the monsters from entering the city. Meng Yang sees this as an opportunity to prove himself to the other warriors, so he immediately equips himself to join the battle, but a wind throws him off the cliff. Fortunately, he falls on one of the monsters in battle, and didn't get harmed. The monster suddenly drags his body in full speed, taking him in different directions. As another monster comes from nowhere and tries to attack Meng Yang, he was suddenly rescued by a man called General Xiao Ho, whom the people of city really respect, because of his numerous achievements in the battles. This man is so strong and skillful, that he even killed so many monsters in seconds. When the other monsters sees this, they all stopped attacking the city, and runs away in fear. This makes everyone as usual, to praise and respect General Ho, for saving the city once again. Immediately after what happened, Master Wang decided to punish him, as he believes because of his foolishness on joining the battle, he almost lost his life. Meng Yuan two best friends later joins him advising him not to do something stupid again, because they believe he will only end up putting himself in danger again. They also told him about a very dangerous monster outside their kingdom called Kimu, who have stolen so many valuable stuffs from their city. The three of them goes to the village square, so they can check out how the monster looks like. But it was actually funny, as the picture only showed the buttons. Suddenly, some arrogant warriors apprehended Meng Yuan. They bullied him in different ways, mocking him that he will forever be an errand boy, and will never have what it takes to become a warrior. As they mock him and were about to beat him up, General Ho suddenly enters and stops them. He tells Meng Yuan that he can become a warrior, but only if he captures the monster that has been stealing valuable items from their kingdom, known as Kimu. Meng Yuan is so overexcited about this, and accepted without hesitation, believing if he can capture Kimu, this will absolutely make him prove to everyone that he's not a weakling. Immediately, Meng Yuan started his journey to find the monster. On his way, he hears a large scary sound, and as he goes to check it out, it turns out that it is exactly the monster he was sent to kill, Kimu. Meng Yuan plan to capture Kimu is to set a trap with ropes, using mushrooms to attract the monster. As Kimu slowly started to approach the traps he has set, a mysterious person suddenly comes from nowhere, and started to attack the monster using arrows. It is revealed to be a woman in disguise. She attacks the monster repeatedly with her arrows, but it was useless, as the monster dodges all her shot. She instantly decided to fight the monster directly, by jumping towards the monster, using her sword to attack it. But no matter how she tried, the monster was way too strong, and she is defeated by it. As she is about to be killed Meng Yuan comes out in an attempt to help her out, but unfortunately, they both ended up in the traps Meng Yuan set to capture the monster. Meng Yuan falls in a very mysterious place. They manage to free themselves, but the girl in mask suddenly started to attack him. He explains to the girl that he is of no harm to her, and their goal is the same, which is to capture the monster, Kimu. The girl believes his words, and they both decided to work together in finding the monster. This girl's name is called Shi Hu. They both entered a mysterious building, where they find a wizard about to sacrifice a male goat in the fire. Meng Yuan sees this act and tells him to stop, making the wizard to cast a spell, making statue monsters comes to life, which started to attack Meng Yuan and Shi Hu. The goat informs Meng Yuan, that it was the wizard that has been stealing all those treasurable items from their city, turning them into medicines which could make him more powerful. Before they could do anything, the wizard has already swallowed the medicine, which did not only cure the injury on his face, but it also made him more powerful. Instantly, Meng Yuan and Shi Hu gets attacked by the monster controlled by the wizard, but Shi Hu slices it into several pieces with her sword. Unfortunately, the monster still didn't die, instead all the pieces of the monsters came back together, and attacks Shi Hu with full force, which removes her mask, exposing her identity in the process. The wizard uses his magic to try and finish them off, but they both fought with all their efforts, trying not to let the wizard have his way. During the fight, Meng Yuan notices that the monsters attacking them has a weakness, which is their eyes. Without wasting much time, Meng Yuan and Shi Hu started to attack it one by one, 
by aiming for the eyes, which killed them instantly. The goat also manages to untie its body and assist them in the fight. With teamwork, they were finally able to subdue the wizard, making him to fall into the fire he was about to use for sacrifice. But this causes the fire explode, and Meng Yuan quickly uses his body as shield to protect Shi Hu, and they all successfully manage to make their escape. On their way, the goat started to claim that he is a very old magical weapon, that was cursed to become a goat. This goat name is called Xiao Bao. Meng Yuan believes the goat is just boasting about himself, so he can get Shi Hu's attention. Xiao Bao became furious on how Meng Yuan keeps underestimating him, and tries to unleash his true powers to prove to them his capabilities, but it didn't work. We suddenly see tiny glowing creatures flying around them, which was the most beautiful thing Meng Yuan has ever experienced in his life. Shi Hu asks Meng Yuan why he's really trying so hard to catch the monster. He replies saying in his city everyone treats him like a nobody, but if he manages to capture a monster everyone will start to respect him, and even pronounce him a warrior. What really gave Meng Yuan the inspiration was General Ho who was regarded a nobody just like him, but with his hard work and success in winning numerous battles, the old general was suddenly removed, and General Ho was appointed as the new general. Shi Hu tells him that she understands how he feels, and will teach him how to fight, so he can use this skill to capture Kimu, which will help him fulfill his dreams into becoming a warrior. Suddenly they both continue their journey, and Shi Hu started to train him how to fight, which makes their relationship stronger, as Meng Yuan started to fall in love with her. Meanwhile, we see so many monsters heading towards the city, which was being led by their alpha. In the other hand, Meng Yuan and Shi Hu has already seen the monster, Kimu, and they were chasing after it, that they ended up in the caves, filled up with baby monsters. Suddenly we see a gigantic worm coming out from the ground, and as it was about to devour Xiao Bao, Kimu comes out from nowhere, and rescues him. We also find out that those baby monsters we saw in the caves, are its children. The gigantic monster started to chase after Meng Yuan and Shi Hu, until they ended up at a cave, filled up with a very hot lava. But still the giant worm didn't stop attacking them. The giant monster suddenly slips, and as it was about to fall into the lava, he grabs Meng Yuan, so it can fall together with him. Meng Yuan is so afraid, and begs Xiao Bao to help him. Xiao Bao tries to help by unleashing his powers, but it just doesn't work. Immediately, Shi Hu hurries and cuts off the tongue of the worm monster, but sadly, the poison of the monster touches her, making her to faint. Meng Yuan quickly carries her on his back, and they both tries to find a way out. He sees a river and hurriedly builds a boat, so it can help them swim out of the caves. Meng Yuan stares at her face, promising himself to find a cure for her. Later on, he see Kimu, which was the monster Meng Yuan was trying to capture, but he notices that the monster was really scared, and was also looking for a way out. But unfortunately, another problem came by, as their boat was hit by a rock, causing them to sink into the rivers. Meng Yuan realizes that they both can't make it outside the rivers, so he sacrifices himself, by pushing Shi Hu out of the water, which makes his body to hit rock beneath the water in the process. Few moments later, Shi Hu wakes up from unconsciousness, and as she quickly looks around, she sees Meng Yuan is also safe, making her relieved. Meng Yuan discovers that it was Kimu, who had rescued them in the rivers, according to the old woman, who later saw them unconscious, and decided to shelter them. Few moments later, we find Shi Wu treating the wounds Meng Yuan substained from the river. Meng Yuan also asks about her purpose of capturing Kimu. She replies to him, saying she came from a place called Tang'an, the city which was far away from his city, Qingyang. Since when she was little, she was entirely different from everyone, her grandfather tells her that her lifespan is short, which will cause her not to live long. Her grandfather takes Shi Hu to so many places around the world, to find her real family. Although they didn't find anything no matter how hard they tried, but her grandfather still never gave up on her, during their journey, the Kimu apprehended them, and her grandfather died in the process of protecting her. Immediately after that moment, she started hunting down the monster, to avenge her grandfather's death. To cheer her up, Meng Yuan takes Shi Hu at the marketplace. Here we see a festival ongoing, as we see a lot of people appearing in different costumes. Meng Yuan tells Shi Hu that knowing her is the best thing that has happened to him in his life, and promises to help her find her real family no matter what. During their conversation, Meng Yuan sees those arrogant warriors from his city, chasing down the Kimu. Shi Hu and Meng Yuan also decided to join them, to capture the monster. After a long struggle, Meng Yuan manages to set a trap which captures the monster. As Shi Hu angrily was about to end the monster and take her revenge, Meng Yuan stops her, reminding her about how the monster saved their lives at the rivers. 
Suddenly those rude warriors appears again and tries to capture Kimu, but Meng Yuan stops them. He and Shi Hu engages in an epic battle with them. We find out that it wasn't the monster, Kimu, that caused her grandfather's death, but these rude warriors. Shu becomes so outranged, after finding out that it was those rude warriors that caused her grandfather death, and as she was about to finish them off, General Ho appears and stops her. Misunderstanding what really happened, General Ho wants to punish her, for trying to harm a warrior. She who couldn't forgive those arrogant warriors who caused her grandfather's death, so she angrily frees herself and tries to attack them, but General Ho stops her with his sword. Meng Yuan comes in her way, and begs her to calm down, so she won't do something stupid, but it had only made her so disappointed with him. Meng Yuan kneels down before General Ho, begging him to spare her life, and also tells him that she also helped in capturing Kimu. General Ho did not only allow Shi Hu to go, but he also pronounces Meng Yuan as a warrior, because he was also involved in capturing the monster. Shi Hu sees all this and left Meng Yuan, as she is so disappointed with him. Few days later, Meng Yuan is appointed a warrior, and was given a high rank among the army. And the people from that moment started to praise and respect him, but still, Meng Yuan felt so disappointed with himself. Later that night, the whole city gets attacked by numerous monsters. We see Kimu who was already captured, and was tortured by those arrogant warriors. Immediately, Meng Yuan appears and stops them. He releases Kimu from the chains, and tells it to escape. But shockingly, a monster carries Meng Yuan on its back and runs away. It takes Meng Yuan to where a very precious stone is kept, and he finds out that the monsters were not attacking their city to harm them, but only take the stone to make them live. Suddenly, General Ho appears and requested the stone from him, but he refuses. Outranged, General Ho tries to attack him, but Shi Hu and Xiao Bao appeared to defend him. Quickly they enters Kimu's back, making their escape with the stone. Surprisingly, Meng Yuan sees General Ho swallowing a medicine, that cured the injury in his face. General Ho furiously commanded all his warriors to attack Meng Yuan and Shi Hu. Realizing that they won't be able to run forever, Meng Yuan shows up in front of the crowd, and exposes that General Ho was the one that stole the stone from the monster. And those monsters only wanted to retrieve back their stone, so they can survive. Suddenly, the other monsters has successfully infiltrated the city. General Ho immediately commanded his men to kill them all, while he tries to take the stone from Meng Yuan. In the process, the stone almost falls off, and as he catches the stone with his bare hand, the powers inside the stone penetrated his body. But then General Ho has already stopped Meng Yuan, taking the stone away from him. Suddenly a monster attacks General Ho from behind, causing him to stab himself using the stone, which made him so powerful. In the process, he sacrifices those arrogant warriors to feed his powers. The stone energy gives him unlimited powers, making him to even defeat the alpha monster with a punch. Everyone becomes so afraid of him, but this didn't scare Meng Yuan and Shi Hu, as they go to attack him. But he defeated them easily, as they are no match for his powers. General Ho tells them that he was once regarded as a weaklings in the society, but he stole the stone from the monsters, and uses the powers to increase his strength. General Ho tries to finish off Meng Yuan, and as Shi Hu hurries to stop him from getting killed, General Ho suddenly turns around and pierces her body with a sword, which was the most painful, and devastating moment in Meng Yuan's life. The other rest of the armies who had witnessed this wicked act of their general goes to attack him, but he subdues them all, using his ultimate powers. In the process, she who falls up a cliff, separating the both lovers forever. Meng Yuan becomes so angry about everything, and a strong energy enters him, making him so powerful. Xiao Bao also uses the chance to unleash his powers again, and this time, it works. There is a very epic battle between General Xiao Ho and Meng Yuan, after a long fight, Meng Yuan succeeded in piercing General Ho with his sword, and pulls out the precious stone out of the general's body in the process, making General Ho to shatter into pieces. The movie ends as Meng Yuan is praised and respected for bringing peace back to the city, but this all meant nothing, as she wasn't with him anymore to celebrate. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.